Hey guys, and today I'm here with the unboxing of the all new Lenovo K3 Note. Now here's the box and with the box I got this Intel 4G ready SIM card. So it's uh, pretty impressive that they gave a SIM card with the phone. So we'll keep it aside. Now uh, actually I'll be quite frank, I did open the box earlier because last time when I ordered a phone online for myself uh, it had some issues inside and from that time itself I don't really trust buying things online so I had to open the box earlier to check whether everything's alright or not so but still I'll go uh, and open up the box once again for you guys so on the box itself with Lenovo branding right on top then it says K3 note over here and it also says uh, screen film inside uh, actually there's a screen protector inside a screen guard and actually the phone does not come with a Gorilla Glass 3 so they had to provide uh, a screen guard inside the phone uh, on the right side it's completely empty and we have just a little bit of useless info and we have the Lenovo branding right there over here we have a little bit of information about the phone actually the specs and uh, they say that it's uh, working on Android OS that's actually Android 5.0 working on Lenovo Vibe UI the processor is a MediaTek 1.7 GHz octa core uh, processor and the display is a 5.5 inch full HD display that is 1920 by 1080p and it's a IPS screen then we have 2 gigs of RAM and 16 gigs of internal storage which is uh, expandable up to 32 GB via micro SD card then speaking of the cameras we have a 13 megapixel back camera with uh, autofocus and LED, two LED flashes in fact and uh, a front 5 megapixel camera with a, a fixed focus then we have a dual sim phone right here and uh, the phone also features a 2900 mAh battery which should work quite uh, nice and let's have a look at the SAR ratings now and it's a whooping 1.59 for the head and 0.688 for the body so I won't recommend this phone for those who are a lot into calling so uh, let's go ahead with the unboxing of the phone here we have the phone itself and uh, here is the screen guard so I'll keep that aside over here we have those popular useless paperwork that nobody reads and we'll keep this aside as well then we have a wall charger that sh that is a 1.5 ampere wall charger it's a 1.5 ampere wall charger so it's a fast charger then we have the micro usb cable or the data cable data sharing cable for charging and all and uh, it is of a very good quality I must say it's a pretty uh, thick cable so it may not tangle quite easily so that aside as well and then we have the 2900 mAh battery by Lenovo so let me just put the battery inside and skip the setup and I'll get back to you in a moment hey guys and here I am back with the phone and uh, I just wanted you guys to know that uh, the back of the Lenovo uh, K3 Note is actually a fingerprint magnet uh, and I just held it in my hand for a little time and uh, as you can see it's already got a lot of marks and it's got very dirty this quick so yeah that's just a little thing I wanted you guys to know now moving towards the overview of the phone's body the phone features a full HD 5.5 inches display as we saw on the spec sheet and uh, on the top middle we have the earpiece on the right hand side of it is a front camera down below here are the three capacitive buttons that are not backlit on the right side the phone has the power button and the volume keys on the top it's got the micro USB cable slot and the 3.5 mm headphone jack on the left side of the phone it's completely empty and uh, at the bottom there's just a mic over here for speaking and calling whatever you say then at the back as I said it's uh, quite a fingerprint magnet back right here and we have a 13 megapixel camera here with dual tone LED flash then we have the Lenovo branding and the speaker right here 
on the right that is quite an unusual place for a speaker to be and here we have a um, voice cancellation mic so that's it for the overview and let's just turn on the device we are now all booted up and set and from the lock screen itself we can get to know that it's a uh, 5.0 device and uh, also we can see that the vibe ui doesn't has not uh, really changed the lock screen a lot so let's just go to the phone now so we see that the home screen is actually pretty full as of now only because we see quite a lot of preloaded apps right here we have a few tools over here then we have all the social media apps pre downloaded like the facebook skype twitter the chat etc then we have a few games and we can also see that uh, the flipkart app is given right here and also the two caller app flipkart because uh, this phone is exclusively available only on flipkart over here and then we also have the standard uh, google apps now let's jump into the settings and go to about phone just for the sake of looking at the android version which is 5.0 and uh, personally i just love this easter egg so yeah and uh, now i also wanted to go to the storage area because we know that the phone has a 16 gig of internal storage and from that we have around 9.85 gb which is uh, available to the user and the best part about the phone is that we can actually expand the storage through the sd card and actually uh, we can also maybe put a usb otg in and i have a usb otg with me right now so i'll just plug it in it automatically uh, took me to the file manager as soon as i plug the otg in and i'll slide from the right and go to external storage and yeah it does read all the content that i have in my uh, otg so I'll just go ahead and play this video of uh, the Amazing Spider-Man. Actually, it's the entire movie. So yeah, the color reproduction is pretty nice, and the speaker is also very loud. Actually, the scene is a little. Now, I'm just gonna follow you everywhere. That's my favorite scene, man. So yeah, now you can clearly listen to the volume of the speaker and it is actually very loud and I really like that thing about the phone. Also another thing is that as soon as we touch this thing right here, it uh, you know takes the video into a little window on the screen which can be resized and you can work on the entire place as uh, and uh, still watch the movie or the video that you are watching. So yeah that's a pretty nice addition to the phone. Now I'll just plug out the USB OTG. Now uh, let's just take a quick look at uh, what the camera has to offer. It's as I mentioned it is a 13 megapixel camera and I'll just take the photo of my phone which is the OnePlus One and uh, okay focus focus. Okay. okay so the picture uh, does not take a lot of time to get captured well so uh, the color reproduction again in the picture is uh, very nice and it the picture is not very detailed I would say and uh, it does pixelate quite a bit and maybe because I am zooming it to the fullest so but yeah it does pixelate but the overall picture quality is very nice and now let's also test the front camera hey guys so yeah now we're at the front camera and uh, now it's a fixed focus camera so it's no point touching the screen but I'm still touching the screen for I don't know what reason but yeah let's go ahead and take a picture okay what was that now I, I I thought I saw a few stars right there well here I am and here's my camera and actually uh, looking at the image I believe that the front camera takes a better picture as compared to the back camera 
Actually, it's quite funny because the back camera is a 30 megapixel camera and the front is a 5 megapixel camera. But yet, the details are more on the front camera, which is a 5 megapixel one, and I really like the color reproduction of this as well. So there you have it, guys. That was it for the unboxing video, and uh, I'll be back with the Lenovo K3 Note. So till then, see you guys.